بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بع one of the traits that the believer should strive their utmost to avoid is lying and lying and telling lies about others and backbiting and so forth are all wicked traits that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned against and those are traits of the hypocrites and traits of those people of the uh, of the people who inhabit the graves and are punished as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke about the people who spread tales about others spread namima that they spread the tales about others in order to spread facade in order to spread evil kama qala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam mar or in the hadith of Ibn Abbas مر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على 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 قبرين فقال إنهم اللي يعذبان وما يعذبان في كبير أما أهلهما فكان لا يستر من البول وما الآخر فكان يمشي من نميمة. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was walking by some graves and then he عليه الصلاة والسلام he said to his companions رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين verily those two inhabitants inhabitants of the grave are being punished and they're not being punished for something which the people think is a big deal you know something that the people take lightly as for one of them that he uh, used to not clean himself properly uh, after using the restroom and as for the other he used to spread tales about the people and that's the, the point of mentioning that hadith is to show us that it is one of the major sins to lie and also slander and backbite people and spread uh, tales about, uh, about others. And going back to the point of lying, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Iyakum wal kathib Fin al kathib yahdi il al fujur Win al fujura yahdi il al nar And then in another riwayah And that was Akhrajuhu ibn Hiban In another riwayah Iyakum wal kathib Fa innuhu ma'al fujur Wuhuma fin nar Wa mithluhu inda tabarani So in these two narrations. In the first narration, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Beware of lying. For verily lying will lead a person to wickedness, to fujur. And verily fujur, or this wickedness, will lead to the hellfire. And so this hadith illustrates for us the importance of avoiding that wicked characteristic, that characteristic of lying. And it's so easy because often we are brought up even in our various, with our various cultural backgrounds, we say, for example, in the West, we say to tell a little white lie, as if a white lie is better than a black lie, whatever a black lie is, and whatever a white lie is. But a little white lie is referred to something that's Acceptable. You're just stretching the truth. You're not actually lying or that it's just a, a light lie or something like this. But in fact, lying, if we put it on the Islamic scale, is a very serious sin. And as the scholars, they differ, but most of them, they say that it's one of the major sins. And in another hadith narration, the Prophet ﷺ warned against lying even when telling a joke and this is a very difficult thing for us and it's a reminder to myself and a reminder to those who are listening to try your best to even when you're joking to to not use uh, speech uh, you know untruthful speech 
The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Bah uh, and Bahzi bin Hakim and Bahzi bin uh, uh, Hakim and Abihi and Jiddihi. قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ويل الذي يحدث فيكذب ليدهك به قوم ويل له ثم ويل له أخرجه الثلاثة وإسناده قوي. In this hadith. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Woe to the one who speaks and lies in order that the people would laugh, you know, basically to entertain the people. Woe to him, then woe to him. So that shows you the seriousness of even telling jokes that are not truthful just to get the people to respond and, and to laugh. And al-wail, al-halak, as the, the ulama Imam, uh, the ulama Imam uh, Sinani, he he in series al-wail, al-halak, uh, and basically saying that when you, whenever you hear woe or you hear al-wail in hadith or in the Quran, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wailul li humaza till lumaza, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, woe, you know, fawailul lil musalleen, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns and he says, woe to, the, to those who, who slander or woe to those who, uh, who, uh, who pray in order to be seen by the people. That whenever you hear this wail, it means halak, or halak. It means that the person, uh, it's a statement illustrating that this is a severe punishment tied to this sin, or that it's a type of destruction. So therefore it lets us know the importance of not lying. And that it was a very serious warning from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to avoid uh, this very serious sin. That we should always strive to be truthful. Truthful with our parents. Truthful in our work situations. Truthful with all the people. And the, the scholars of the past, in fact, Islam was preserved by truthfulness. That the Imams of the past, especially Ahl Hadith, the Aimmat Al Hadith, those Imams who helped preserve the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they were known for their truthfulness and trustworthiness, and they used those criterion in order to preserve the Hadith, because these were oral traditions, these were oral narrations that all the, that um, went from Imam to Imam all the way to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. And so the people in those narrations, the narrators, had to be considered trustworthy. And that's why those are major criterions, uh, that's a major criterion for determining whether a hadith is sahih or not, or da'if, you know, whether it's sound or whether it's a weak hadith on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It has to do with the trustworthiness of a person. Also this trustworthiness, so trustworthiness is an important part of the Islamic uh, faith, that a person is truthful. Also a person who is a liar, that their shahada, their testimony is not accepted. Or uh, many other ahkam or rulings in the sharia are tied to whether a person is trustworthy or not. So this is incredibly important for us to verify uh, statements from people and to verify whether a person is trustworthy or not and look to their characteristic and, and, and try to exhibit those characteristics ourselves by being trustworthy and being a person who does not tell lies even if it is just to entertain the people or joke and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and help us to stay away from this major sin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam